I couldn't sleep last night. I was too excited. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is our first day back at homeschool and we're gonna show you a little bit of what that looks like for us. The curriculum that I ordered this year hasn't arrived yet. I ordered a whole year's worth of curriculum and I think that's what's making it take a little bit longer but we are expecting it really soon. Uh, today we started with our morning routine. I read to them, we have like a group meeting and they do their morning reading. So that is already all done. Sylvia, what book are you reading? Did you mention that you read to us and um, we read by ourselves? Yes. So okay. what is the book that you're reading? Um, You've reached Sam. You've reached Sam. And it shows the person that wrote it. Oh, is it written by a guy? Yes, I think oh, so. Well, if I'm correct. Well, that's cool. All right, so that is Sophie's book. Gabby, what book are you reading? They both have two books. We're going to also go and get a uh, renew our library subscription. She's reading Assassin's Creed, which is a graphic novel. And then she also, yeah. So anyways, Gabby's really into anime and that is what she likes. And so that's what she's reading. Those are their elective reading things. Um, so while we wait for our curriculum, we are going to be learning, doing like a craft project. Um, I want to look at all the molds. Okay, hold on for a second. Just hold on. I can't. It's too exciting. It is too exciting. Sophie was so excited she hardly slept for school, for homeschool. For um, this. For Just this like part of homeschool. So one thing that we do a lot of in homeschool is we color. Like Gabby's over there coloring. I don't know if I showed you, but one of the things that we got for school this year are these uh, markers. We ordered them from Amazon and it's a ton of different markers. They're really good for blending. They have... They have two different, wait, that's not a good one to show you. They have, they have two different ends to them. Six. Yeah, they have this fine tip end, and they have this other end that's good for like shading and coloring. Guys, I was the one who found out about these markers first because they have them at the dollar store, just white instead of black. Yeah, so Sylvie has some of these markers. She's been buying them from the dollar store, but I decided to get the whole entire case. There's how many markers are in here? A hundred? A hundred maybe? I don't know. But anyway, there's a lot. comes with this cute little carrying case. So Gabby is coloring. And the reason that we color a lot is because they color in between times. So I always encourage them to have some activity that they can do while I'm like in transition. While I'm getting their next thing ready that they have to do, they have stuff that they can do. And it can't be like their phone or playing games or whatever. So they will color. They will read. They will like... They will do stuff like that. Oftentimes it's coloring. Oftentimes there's like some games that I have, like um, books with games and stuff, like you know, like Sudoku or stuff like that. They will they will do that kind of stuff while I'm transitioning them to the next thing. What are we doing today, Sophie? Um, we're doing making things. We're making things. So, uh, one of the things that I got for this year is some polymer clay. I hate nails. <laughs> and I bought a bunch of different stuff to go with it, but I got this one kit here that has a bunch of tools. It's got like a, a bunch of stuff for us to use with it. I got a ton of clay. They're just little teeny tiny things of clay, which if they get really into this, I will buy more clay, like the bigger packages of clay. Wow, that one's like gold and it's so cute. That one is not gold at all. But I got all these things of clay. There's three packages of it. Um, I also got the tools that they need to roll the clay and get the, and prepare the clay. And then I also got um, some molds that they can use. Like Sophie's really interested in making dog takes with her clay. I um, kind of want to make that now though. Yeah, but what would you do with it? You could make it into like a necklace. Or what would you do with it? You know, you, I just thought of a great idea. What? Make clay and stick my dog's paw in it and make a daisy paw shape. That's super cool too. I might do that. Yeah, that is really cool. Mm -hmm. Gabby, what? where's the thing that you're doing? Are you doing rings? So Gabby chose to make rings. I got a set of rings that she can use polymer clay to make rings. We're gonna make them super fancy, but I got this kit of rings. Comes with all the different sizes. I also ordered a set of 
of cutters, like the things, the, what are they called? Like the shapes that they can make jewelry, but like earrings and necklaces and stuff, but that hasn't come yet. That's coming like on Sunday or something. So anyways, I bought all this stuff for us to, to figure this out and work let me, with it. Let me show you why it came with this. So you put, I'm pretty sure this is how you do it, but I can't put it in. You put that thing on here. I can't do it right now, but you put it on there before you put your clay, I think. Or, oh, that's super cool. And then it's a charm. Yeah, that's really neat. And it kind of more gold and silver. Yeah, that's cool. Could you imagine? Like, she could have this little tag, and you could even, like, use a different shape and make tags for your horse's blankets. So, that's what we're going to do right now. Um, I'm going to require them to watch a video to see <laughs> what it's all about, Polly Merclay. I've watched a ton of videos to figure out how to do it. I want them to find, to watch a video and figure out, like, uh, create a project all on their own for me um, This is one thing that I love about homeschooling is that I'm able to pick the curriculum. So We're able in our art program. We're able to do like a bunch of different things like things like this All right, so fast forward about an hour and a half here and we have been working away This is the carnage of our table. I made beads for a bracelet. That's what this is all all these are so this is like a bead it's like a marble marbleized bead of all the colors so in my bracelet I'm gonna have black blue pink and white and then I have like a combination a bunch of beads that are a combination so that are all those are all the beads that I'm gonna use to make a bracelet or you could even make a necklace I have a lot of beads here um, Sophie made a dog tag and then she made another a different way and then she made a heart that is hopefully going to be a keychain Gabby is still working on her ring. Do you have any, like, how much do you have done, Gabby? I have the base of the ring. She has the base of the ring done. Gabby doesn't like us to see her stuff until she's all done. She's a perfectionist, where Sophie and I just throw it together. <laughs> we just throw it together, and that's just our style. It's actually been a super fun experience, like, working together. I like when we're all working together, because then we all get chatting and stuff. All right, so these are my beads. I'm going to string them in just a few minutes as soon as it cools down a bit. So these are not perfect, like... This is the first time we ever made them. I wanted to make beads because I knew that any shape, any size, any variation would still look cute. So that's going to be my bracelet. Sophie is going to bake this now. It has a heart in it. Like that's, that's so cute. And here's the other earring. This yeah. Got messed up a bit. And is that to match this? What is this? Oh, this is going to be a key. These were just extras. Gabby is still working on her ring and Gabby has taught me a lot. Sophie and I are really similar in that like we just throw it together and hope for the best and Gabby is a perfectionist and works and works and works and I always trust the process with Gabby. I always just leave her, let her do her thing and see it when it comes out and I'll show you guys when it comes out. I'm obsessed with another chicken. I'm obsessed with another chicken. I'm going to show it. Don't push it. Wait, look. I, all right, I know that, that one. That white one. She's so cute. The funniest of all is that rooster, though. Like this little baby rooster. This guy right here. He's so friendly. You're like the least friendly rooster. But he's a very gentle boy. Hi, Penny Pickle. Oh, my gosh. You've been pooping. So Sophie and Elizabeth are down at the barn. And by Elizabeth, I mean Elizabeth on FaceTime. Because Sophie has a plan of something she wants to do with Willow. Something so super cute. I can't stop myself from filming it. First, I have to clean the poo. Oh no, what happened to you? Are you glad we came to rescue you? She got a burr branch. She's like, oh, I'll just eat it. You know why? They're looking for leaves. They like the leaves. She can try from the back, like, save me. Save me. Save me from this prickly thing. You guys remember I told you that Sam was going to fix this gate? Well, he fixed it. And <laughs> we're going to take Penny and... Get your horse out. Come on, Pen. Come on. Come on. Look how bright my eye is. I'm like the sun. Oh, God. Put your, put your, uh, close your eye. <laughs> Sophie, Sophie's wearing makeup for the first time. I definitely am. So in yesterday's video, I was sh saying how like every time I ride Penny, only at home, she does this thing where she pretends like she's going to fuck me off. 
And in the past, people are like, no, she didn't. Okay. I'm like, okay. Crazy, go. How they know that, I don't know. Get your goofy butt out of here. It's okay, it's okay, just go, just go, 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 go. I'll get it. Oh, look at how gorgeous with her long, flowing mane. Get in there. You're staying. You're the lucky one. <laughs> there we go. We lost like, what am I doing today, guys? Anyways, she always does that when I'm at home. But typically, all she does is, and I was watching the footage back, and I cut out a lot of it, so like, you guys don't get to see all of it. But just because there's too much footage. But all she does is she tips her head down and jumps up with her bum. And, <laughs> okay. Anyways, moving on is today. Is really longer? I think it's longer than the other people. Sophie is going to do the fruit roll up challenge with her pony, who clearly is okay. really excited. Yeah, Sophie saw this on TikTok where you we'll yeah, have Are a contest ready? with your horse to Are see, you? yeah, give it to her. Who can eat the fruit roll up the fastest? She's gonna run home with it. Okay, she's going for it. All right, three, two, oh my God! She, <laughs> that's so bad! I don't think she knew how to do it. <laughs> go, Sophie, go! Alyssa, cheer on the person you want to win. Go, Willow! Go! Ah, she's done! <laughs> to do it with my horse. I opened the gate and we invited Penny in and she just walked right in and went over to those poles and started pushing them like she knows. Wait, where are you going? Come on, Pen. She's looking for something to push. <laughs> She's like, I only like pushing things. Come here. Come here. here, over here. Come here. Don't let her eat mine. Okay. Don't eat Sophie's. Don't eat mine. Willow's like, Willow's like, let me in right now. <laughs> That's my girl. All right. Come here, Penny. Come here. Smell that, Pen. Will she do it? Will my horse do it? She's confused. Yeah. Take a smell of it. Hmm, she says. <laughs> All right, go, 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 go. It's a record! <laughs> save that one and will you do it with Gracie no jealousy going on at all all afraid of the fruit roll up at first until you get it in their mouth not Willow Willow's not Willow believe uh oh why is she eating a lead rope what the heck Penny it's not the same thing oh see what we started no get it <laughs> Penny was literally trying to eat the lead rope the exact same way she ate the fruit roll up all right three Two, one, go. Uh oh. Three. Oh. She doesn't like it. Uh oh. Penny, Penny's breaking in. She's like, oh, I'm coming for it. <laughs> All right, well, let's go do Chino because I don't think Gracie likes it. There you go. You were released. Oh, this is so much better. Just glides. I know you like it. Yeah, he'll love it. Three, two, one, go! Oh, no. <laughs> I do want you have to start. Me. I can't. Oh, sorry. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, Sophie's gonna win! Sophie wins! Sophie, she. Yeah, Sophie beat him. <laughs> Sophie's just. I don't know, he's swinging it around. <laughs> He doesn't know exactly what to do, but he finished it. I know, sticky, it sticks the teeth. Yeah, this is not good for horses' teeth for sure. We won't, we don't give it to them on a regular basis, but it was super fun to do the fruit roll-up challenge to see how it would go. Penny even tried to eat a lead rope. Yeah, Penny even tried to eat a lead rope. All right, your teeth are all green. Anyway, 
that is it. The end of our Wait, first day of school. Can I show them something that I'm really good at making and I love making? Oh, yeah. Why don't we show them tomorrow? Because we're, all right, we'll show you guys today. Um, first day of school, done. I'm going to show you guys quickly what they ended up making for our craft. We even had I friends. We had Elizabeth here on our first day of school. Thanks for being a part of our first day of school, Elizabeth. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so Gabby is still working away. She's making a stitch. And she made a ring. And the cutest little pumpkin. Uh, she did not make that. Sophie made the pumpkin. Isn't it adorable? And there's her ring, Gabby's ring. She did a dark color. Can we anyway, show the pumpkin? sure. Let's show them your pumpkin. So cute. Adorable. I tried to make a strawberry. A strawberry. I like it. And my bracelet, I'm not completely finished with it. I have to cut off the elastic. This is my bracelet. All my beads. I think like this. These beads would be so good for like a baby. You know those clips that you make for baby pacifiers. It'd be fun. And my last creation is that I make cabbage rolls for dinner. So we are gonna eat, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the